if there's one thing that I ask you to walk away with today, write this down, please. Debt to income ratio. That is your gross monthly income will let you go up to about 50% total debt. So gross monthly income times 50% or divided by two equals total allowed debt. So that means your credit card, that means your student loans, that means your car payments, uh, anything that shows up on your credit report, all right? And the amount that's left over after you subtract all of that is your mortgage payment. It's a real quick example. If you make $60,000 a year, that's $5,000 a month, right? Gross, that's before taxes, gross. Cut that in half, what is that, $2,500, right? Say your student loans are $250. So now we're down to $2,250 that I can qualify for for a mortgage, right? Let's just say my car payment is $750. <laughs> so you never know. Somebody got a big body Benz or something like that. I'm not sure. I see some irresponsible people. All right, so I compromise with you. Let's say your car payment is $500 a month. All right. Now we're like, what do we say? $1,750. Right. So that's that's. And let's just say you don't have any credit card debt. You're fortunate that you didn't have. You don't have any credit card debt. So now, on paper you can buy a house that has a $1,750 a month payment. Does that make sense?